back now to that breaking news. The Supreme Court saying retired Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman on the high court, has died at the age of 99. She served as an associate justice of the high court from 81 to 2006. Here's a look back at her life and legacy. Sandra Day O'Connor was born in 1930. Her family owned Arizona's second largest cattle ranch. Rich with land, but no electricity, running water, or good education options. She was six years old when her parents sent her to live with her grandmother, hours away from home in El Paso, so she could attend a good private school. The Texan would graduate from Stanford University and from law school, where she ranked third in her class. Number two was future Chief Justice William Rehnquist. Though they became fast friends, another student named John O'Connor courted Sandra Day. The two quickly became inseparable after meeting on an assignment at the Stanford Law Review, where top firms offered Mr. O'Connor a job right out of law school. No firms would hire Sandra. Mrs. O'Connor turned down the chance to be a legal secretary and instead worked for free in the San Mateo County Attorney's Office. She quickly earned respect and a promotion to become the deputy county attorney. Their three children talked about what it was like growing up in the O'Connor household. And in 1980, President Ronald Reagan fulfilled a campaign promise when he nominated O'Connor to the nation's highest court. I will send to the Senate the nomination of Judge Sandra Day O'Connor of Arizona Court of Appeals for confirmation as an Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. She filled the seat of retiring Justice Potter Stewart by a unanimous vote. I'm absolutely overjoyed with the expression of support from the Senate. Mississippi University for Women v. Hogan was the first case for which O'Connor would write the majority opinion. In the case, a man sued an all-women nursing school. The court sided with him, ruling the school must admit qualified men. O'Connor wrote that not allowing men into the school perpetuated the notion that nursing was a woman's job. Ten years later, O'Connor would cast the deciding vote in Planned Parenthood versus Casey, the judgment that would affirm Roe v. Wade. That decision would stand for 30 years until it was overturned in 2022. Justice O'Connor would step away from the court in 2006 when her husband was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. She would also step away from public life a dozen years later when doctors told her she had early stage dementia. Sandra Day O'Connor, 93 years old, uh, survived by her three children. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.